And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. This is Alter Quest Stretch Goals. What does that even mean? Well, I just reviewed today the game Alter Quest. I like it. I actually, I, I kickstarted the thing, and so I got, these are the stretch goals that come with the Kickstarter. If you don't get the base game, you're not going to get these, and I apologize because there's some cool stuff in here. I'm just showing you what's in here, talking briefly about it, because I like to put a lot of this in the game, actually, and I'll be right back. Okay, so wow, look at all these miniatures that come with there. Yay for more features, and yay anytime you have a fire elemental who is like that. But look, lots more heroes, and that guy looks like a werewolf. So tons of miniatures in this thing, along with an insert. So let's take a look at what we have. We have a bunch of different cards here that are included with this set. Okay, so first of all, let me show you something here. These are the new rune dice, and they have colored sides. That is a huge deal for me. That makes the game much more fun. I will always use these. This is something I place in the game. Not only that, there are some new feature and alter cards, and since there are so few feature cards in the original game, I will also always add these, because the more variety in the game, the better. You're also looking at five new heroes here, Blake Gallows, Quindale, Van Geyser. <laughs> Let's pause and talk a little bit about Van Geyser here. A bounty hunter with the head of a horse. Does he ride a horse, I wonder? They don't really explain about that, but he comes with Dawn's Edge, which I believe is one of my favorite weapons from Skyrim. Uh, Duskfall. Look at that. He starts with two swords and just all kinds of cool things. This is probably my favorite character in both the base game and here. Then, of course, we have Gronin Hosk here, and with a chipped axe and a steel shield here, a dwarf. And then the character that most people are probably going to be excited about, it's an elf who is also a werewolf. So, Lice and Pines, so they can start here, and when there's a certain rune out there, Moon Lunar, whew, 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 turn into a werewolf and then turn back. And people are going to like that. And I don't think I've ever seen an elf werewolf before. So that's kind of a cool combo that people will like. So there's these five are in the game. But that's not it. They also have five new villains. Billy the Kindler, Morgan, Rancy Dan, Broderick Heston, and Vivian. And considering there's only three villains in the base game, this adds a ton of variety here. And then we got some new things in Too Deep, Pillaging the Vault, and a little on the nose, but the Quarantine. Now, Rancidian here is the most ripped rat I've ever seen. Morgan brings a pirate. Billy the Kindler is the guy who comes with his own little fire elemental. And also, that's possibly one of my favorite names for a villain ever. And of course, there is tons of miniatures for all this stuff. You know, you have your own wolves that are gonna go. I mean, look at this rat. Oh my word. I really like the different miniatures in this game. I like having the new things here. Here's like a jail and this actually opens. You can put somebody inside it. We have a pile of trash here. <laughs> That's not often you get a miniature for that. You know, a pile of crates and then some of the different altars. There's more altars included with the game and things like that. So, and then here's the, the werewolf hero. Where's the horse head guy? Look at this guy. This guy's amazing. I'm using him in every game. He's fantastic. Anyhow, there's just a lot of cool content in this box. And this is just one of three trays. There's a second tray. And then a third tray, a much larger tray here of miniatures. Now, I'm going to try to fit everything in the base box, but it's probably not going to happen. And one last thing before we go. I do want to show you there's another board included with here. I don't think these boards, you know, I didn't think another board is necessary because the board doesn't matter much. But if you want a board that just looks terrible and terrifying, I personally prefer the original board because I like the different color rooms. But I can see why some people would want a more thematically destructive board. Well, there you go. I am going to try to put as much of this stuff in the base box as possible. I'm going to get rid of the plastic inserts. I'm definitely going to be adding in, obviously, the dice and the more features and, and definitely all the new characters just to give people more choices. Uh, although I suspect in every game of this I ever play, someone's going to pick 
the elf werewolf. I just feel like that's always going to happen. Um, but more stuff is good. I thought Alter Quest could have used more stuff. I have the more stuff between the two of these. I be you know you'll, this is a, a game you could play for years. So if you're watching this later on, way after the Kickstarter and stretch goals, and if you have a chance to buy this online somewhere, I really do recommend this if you like Alter Quest. Anyway, I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved.